Hello and welcome back to the Mole Valley Maker channel. On the lathe today we've got a piece of sported silver birch. Uh, this came to me from Steve at Crafted Makes down in Southampton. Um, he gave me a couple of these pieces when I bought the lathe you can see on the screen now from him. Um, it was last year, 2019. So I've had these bits of wood a little while there. Uh, very sported. They're about 125 millimeters, say five inches at their widest, um, and heavily sported, as you can see, verging on punky. Uh, you can see, even though it's reasonably freshly ground and sharpened uh, spindle gouge. Uh, bear in mind this is a spindle, the grain is running um, parallel to the lathe bed, in line with the lathe bed I mean. So most of this is sped up because it's, um, it's quite repetitive, there's nothing to it really, it's just the same as any other kind of spindle turning, it's just that it's a rather nice piece of timber. But I'm just trying to get some shape, trying to work out how far I can take it down at the top uh, without leaving the edges too thick in too many places. And the sporting has left lovely patterning in this wood. of a half inch uh, spindle gouge and a quarter inch spindle gouge and here I am just uh, sizing up for tenon my smaller 35 millimeter jaws I think they're classed as but uh, you actually have something like a 28 millimeter tenon uh, here I've turned it around. I didn't show you any of the sanding process because that was quite long and involved and I actually, because of the sporting and the variation in the uh, densities of the uh, timber, bear in mind birch is quite a soft timber anyway, uh, I actually treated the wood with sanding sealer, cellulose sanding sealer and then sanded it down just to try and harden up the fibres and it left quite a nice smooth finish. And here I am with my quarter inch spindle gouge. I'm just very gently evening up the top. And you can see it's kind of just like dust coming off. camera angle is just experimenting but uh, it's better than looking straight down. slow-mo just at uh, half speed trying to rub the bevel as much as possible really quite difficult to get a very smooth cut because the, again the density of the timber varies so much because of the sporting some of the sporting leaves very very soft sections and then you've got the standard unsupported sections which are as I said still soft like in comparison to some woods like oak but um, 
uh, harder than the very soft areas. Just trying to finish up here with a smooth surface. And here again, I've that's where I stopped and sanded, um, and I treat this with. There's some torn grain in the very centre there, where it's. I don't know if you can just about see it on camera. But I did the same process on the inside. I put sanding sealer on it, let that harden up, and then went in and sanded. And here I'm doing what I call a Phil Anderson tenon removal. Um, I'm sure it's not Phil's technique. It's just he probably does the best demonstrations on YouTube and the best uh, commentary on what he's doing. Um, I'll leave a link in his uh, in my comments below so you can go and have a look at some of his work. Uh, he does a lot of natural uh, odd shape turning and the trick here is just to try and whittle down the centre section as small as possible while keep pushing it towards the uh, headstock and that's gone a bit out of frame but I'm just using a small 6mm skew to take the central nub off and here's a few glamour shots I've just this has just had one coat of uh, Danish oil so thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed it please like, uh, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next one